Kamala Harris is not the person we want negotiating anything, right? Like, I get it. Biden, Biden administration brought her out to represent some sort of diversity role and to, you know, wave and dance when need be. But they didn't even trust her with anything. They made her the border czar and then sort of shunted her to the side. Like, no one wants Kamala Harris representing them, including Democrats. That's why they, they didn't pick her the first chance they had. For all the gamers out there, I would give Kamala a 14 charisma if you play mm -hmm. D&D with zero persuasion and maybe like two points in intimidation. 14 charisma? I, I, she has charisma enough to be a politician. Yeah. No, she. Yeah, she. Bro. You see all those people screaming and dancing. That's why before. she's done so many interviews. That's not her. That's that's the but everyone else at the, the event. She's kind of cute. And it's commercial. Like she's pretty enough to have charisma. It helps her charisma. So like 14. If she had charisma, no. she gets why a plus is she not doing charisma interviews? Because she has no persuasion did you, did you, skill. She did has you see very how, low intimidation skill. She's Michael, not a good speaker. Michael Malice she's exemplified not very intelligent. this. Malice exemplified this so well at the end of yesterday's episode as to why he doesn't want to listen to Kamala Harris. And he was like, because I can say something sincere like me saying, oh, I'm, I'm really excited to uh, listen to you guys on the members only show. I think it's going to be good fun. And if Kamala Harris has it, it's I'm so excited to hear you on the members only show. Like that's not she, she lacks charisma. Now, mm -hmm. I wouldn't give her zero. No, yeah, she gets a know, bonus to her charisma. Seven or eight. I don't think so. Willie Brown thought she was hot. Uh, yeah, oh, come on. I think she gets a bonus plus two to her charisma. And, but the thing is, I think Michael doesn't want to listen to her because if you listen to an evil person with charisma, you can get indoctrinated into their evil ways. No, so he's like, he doesn't even want to. good anything. at it. She has like no it. persuasion. She has zero in persuasion. She has no persuasion skill, which gives you bonus on top of, and she has some intimidation skill. <clears throat> like she'll be like, you want Trump to win? And you're like, oh, well, no. No, my my lady, no. Like, but she's just has low like twelve intelligence, I eight, nine, I, eleven intelligence, maybe. I, I disagree. I disagree, Ian. Th if if this was true, they'd put her on TV more. Well, if she like if Trump's she had, got like eighteen charisma with like a sixteen points in persuasion. He's super charismatic and persuasive, but she yep. has like no persuasion ability. They won't and, they, and a moderately she, okay. She inspires charisma. no one. A I know charisma. Someone and who inspires people. Good. To, but she inspires no, no one. That's why they well, won't put her on TV and she won't do interviews. I feel like she only uh, inspires people. That's who commercials don't. promoting the DNC, and those are delegates who are brought in. That's like saying, does the does the the cult leader have to be charismatic to his zealots? Not if not, yeah, not if the leader's yeah. installed by commercials and television. The reason they won't have her do interviews is because she does not have charisma. There's low intelligence. That's she can't the speak. <laughs> she can't well, speak that's racist. extemporaneously. She's like she's incapable of doing it. And and honestly, I think her her blood alcohol content has been higher consistently over the past three years than she polled in 2020. <laughs> I'm being totally honest too. I, 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 that, I genuinely believe that. she was a, okay. She was a drunk. No, she is would be true? dead. No. Well. Oh no, yeah. No. Oh, sorry. You have to do the point. Yeah, but I think like she pulled it two percent. Okay, I think so she's saying, she's rocking point two decimal. <laughs> yes, if you if you swing the decimal one, it's like dude. Yeah. For, uh, 20, no. 29 percent <laughs> blood alcohol content is not something uh, you survive. You're, you're right about that. Yeah. <laughs> is that true that she has a drinking problem? Is well, this... how could I know? Okay, I don't know. but people have been suggesting it online. I've been seeing. Is it just well because I bloodshot I, eyes or look, something? Look, I've I've partied enough in my day to to recognize when someone's uh, a couple of a couple of glasses of wine deep. She seems like she's consistently that. Or it's pills. Or worst case scenario, she's an imbecile. I don't know which. You combine all three, she still shouldn't be elected. Yeah, I don't. I, what were you gonna say? Well, I was gonna go back first. Kamala Harris is only persuasive persuasive to people who have not paid attention in the last three and a half years and to people who don't know anything about politics because when i was watching her speech last night if i was just stepping back objectively and i didn't know anything about her i'd be like okay like she's got some charisma because she's decent when she's in front of a teleprompter she's not good at speaking off the cuff she's not good at answering questions so that's why she's not going to do interviews it said it was easier for her to do the meme approach like the whole brat summer thing like that was a desperate way of trying to win over gen z because the thing is is gen z is like the first generation that has grown up knowing to not trust the media because other generations it took them quite a few years of being lied to to finally recognize that if it's on legacy media there's a good chance that it's a blatant lie I mean, 